Welcome, class of 2009, parents, teachers, administrators, Dr. Gagalibici, school committee and guests. I stand here today not only as a graduate of Minnetog's class of 2009, but also as a person looking at our future. I stand to this audience not knowing where my life will take me, but what I do know is that my life and our lives have been forever impacted by our Minnetog experience. We are the class of 2009, a class like no other, made up of the finest people I know. 2009, the year of unbelievable change, the year of new hopeful beginnings, imaginable possibilities, our graduation year. Some people leave Minnetonka wary of their futures. Some have their hearts set on a variety of goals and lofty ambitions, while others simply are anxious to move on and allow their lives to follow an unplanned path. We are an extremely unique class, not only for the people that make it up, but also the fruit of the diversity we bring to our future colleges, professions, businesses, and passions. Memories of Minichok wouldn't be complete without the little things that make it unforgettable. For four years, we have sat through tedious spells, announcement mishaps, lightning sirens, leaking ceilings, heavy books, temperamental heat, and to top it all off, clocks that never, ever accurately work. But Minichok would be the same without all of those things, because those have become the things that we'll remember forever. I don't think any of us would trade those insignific insignificant, bothersome aspects of these halls compared to the wonderful friendships, immeasurable education, and inspiring words that have shaped us into the people we are today. Think back to freshman year. We were all so small, timid, and terrified of the senior class. We walked around the halls with a map in our pockets, but didn't look into the eyes of any upperclassmen because we thought they could kill us with just one stare. Remember the first welcome dance? The semi where shoes are always optional? And the first time you drink down the stairs at Pay Hall? Although many of us wish we hadn't grown up so much, we have become those seniors. And now we are the ones doing the staring at the small, scared freshmen who make us laugh at lunch and defend our certainty that we were never that naive. We sit here today having completed 2,340 days of required education. Many of us will move on to bigger and maybe better places. Some will stay holding on to as many members as we can. Regardless, we are using those days to create the future ahead of us. They have molded us into who we are today and have set the foundation for who we will be. We have experienced 2,340 opportunities to realize the incredible possibilities of who we might turn out to be in two years, five years, 10 years, 25 years. It's in our hands now. Parents, you remember times when you felt the same way we do, yet you persevered, you hoped, and you got through it. So thank you to all the parents and friends who have impacted our lives. If you're sitting here, you have made a difference. You have sat through conferences, endless open houses, and yet still have been there to hold our hands when we really needed it, to teach us lessons that no one else could, and to gaze at us now from an audience full of soon-to-be strapped for cash parents who are only half relieved, knowing their job is not yet over, but really just beginning. Thanks for all you've ever done for us, for helping us become the people we are today. No matter what struggles we face, please continue to believe in our possibilities. To our teachers, thank you. Because of you, we sit here today and know most of what a 12th grader should know. We appreciate all the life lessons you've taught us because without you, we would have not risen to your challenges and forced ourselves to clear the next hurdle. We would have never made it without your hard work, prodding, and willingness to help us succeed, no matter how many jumps you had to make for us. We owe it all to you and make this promise, stolen from Broadway lyrics. I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. I cannot pinpoint one teacher in my high school career that has made an impact above the rest because I believe that throughout these 12 years, each teacher, each subject, and each class has left an imprint on my mind. So, congratulations, class 2009, and remember the good advice many of you have seen in the K Hall Girls Bathroom Mall. Shoot for the moon, and even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Make the most out of your tomorrow. Make your future what you desire it to be. Make today a new beginning for many experiences to come. And make this, our graduation day, a day that you will never forget. Our years at Minichai comprised the best foundation years of our lives. With our own unique style and tenacity, we did it. And today, before you, our teachers, administrators, parents, and friends, 
I leave you with Margaret Mead's prophetic belief, and one that many of us share. Never doubt whether a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. That's us, Class 2009, a small group of committed, educated, inspired citizens who are ready, armed with infinite possibilities, to change our world.